Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. I came out to Texas and Ted from EVS Motors, we had been talking a lot of Tesla stuff, RX-7 stuff. He actually helped me pick out the RX-7 I got in my garage right now. He's got like four? I got three, three, three RX-7s. And he was awesome There's enough to right let me there. drive that one out here. It's right hand drive, it was a handful, not gonna lie. It's got this brand new STO out here. So we are gonna give it a try. Obviously it's rear wheel drive, tons of power, very lightweight. And we are on a drag strip, but running the opposite direction to get the best traction because that side's not prepped. But nevertheless, even though zero sixty is not going to yeah. be great, we'll see sixty to one thirty yeah. and some other Again, stats like that. Get some numbers on it. And let's, yeah. Let's find out what it does. All right. So I'm going to jump in here and uh, let's see what it does on the draggy. So here we go. First test of the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Omologato or STO. We are in full launch mode. Trofeo ESC is off and we're gonna go ahead and launch it and see if we can do a quarter mile. Let's see it. A lot of spinning. Well, this car likes to spin a lot. We are in full launch mode. Trofeo ESC is off, and we're gonna go ahead and launch it and see if we can do a quarter mile. Let's see it. A lot of spinning. All right, so there you go. I don't think anyone's really surprised that the STO wasn't really much faster than, let's say, a standard Huracan Evo, given they pretty much reached the end of the line for power of this V10. They really haven't increased the power in a long time, 10 horsepower over quite a few years. Now, the STO is about 200 pounds lighter than my Evo. My friend Peter from uh, TX2K actually weighed his STO, came out at like 3,350 pounds, and uh, my Evo comes in at just over 3,500 pounds. So that 200 pounds of savings with the STO is probably dragged back by the incredible arrow that car has. Obviously, this is not a drag racing car. It's a track car. That extra downforce really helps it around the track. Nevertheless, I've been getting a lot of questions about how fast the STO is. Did you drive it? What did you think? So there you go. Uh, comparing the draggy numbers side by side against my Evo right here. Quarter mile. Let's see it. Now, after watching that, you consider that the weather was way better when I ran the STO, 50 degrees but windy uh, versus uh, 80 degrees but at a drag strip. So forget the uh, quarter mile numbers on that. You could pretty much look at the trap speed and the 60 to 130 data that say it's pretty much the same thing uh, when you're comparing the STO acceleration wise uh, versus the Huracan Evo. All right, so that's a wrap of this short video of just testing the STO acceleration wise. Thanks again to Ted from EVS Motors for giving me a shot at testing this car out. And I did travel up to New York City and spec out my new Huracan Technica. And uh, that was quite a cool experience. I'm gonna do a video on that coming soon, show you my spec and see what we decided on for that incoming Technica car. Again, that's pretty much the STO rear wheel drive without all the crazy aero. Um, so we will see how that performs as well when that arrives sometime next year. As always, thanks for watching.